military gets its first ever laser weapon, Star Wars style 100 million pounds death ray shoots down drone more than two miles away in first test. Britain's first ever laser death ray, which could one day be used to annihilate fighter jets, warships and hypersonic missiles, has scored its first kill. Like a scene from a science fiction movie, the new 100 million pounds dragon fire prototype was able to destroy a drone from more than two miles away. The weapons platform which military chiefs say will revolutionize the battlefield of the future, does not require any ammunition. Instead, it uses its invisible 50 kilowatts beam to hit targets as small as a one-pound coin that can be traveling at the speed of sound. Built by scientists in the UK, the Dragon Fire's designers say the high-tech weapon systems boasts pinpoint accuracy. The sophisticated weapon was fired at full power for the first time last week, during a test at Ministry of Defense's Porton Downrange in Wiltshire. It used its mirrors and high-powered lasers to focus heat on one point, causing a quadcopter drone to burst into flames. Although the test was hailed a success, the Dragon Fire is still a long way off from being rolled out into the military. Because of the energy needed to power it, it is expected to be fitted to warships of the Royal Navy, or to be used as permanent air defense platforms on land. But there are also ambitions for it to be fitted to armored vehicles for the British Army. The tech could one day be used to sink boats and damage warships, bring down military warplanes and even destroy deadly Russian hypersonic missiles, which are so fast they could travel from Moscow to London in 9 minutes. However, defense sources have told Mail Online the weapons system is most likely to be used in an air defense role and fitted to the 6 billion pounds fleet of 6 Type 45 destroyers, which are currently undergoing upgrades to their power systems. Ben Madison, from the Defense Science and Technology Lab DSTL, said, the laser weapons are something which are brand new, we don't know what their benefits are going to be, or, technically if it's actually going to be achievable to use them.